Welcome to Barcelona for the final round of the 2015 International GT Open. Miguel Ramos and Alvaro Prent for Teo Marti Motorsport come here as the clear favourites, but the AF Course pairings of Michele Ruglo and Passim the Thoras, or Ezekiel Perez Kompanak and Rafael Egea Maria could spring a surprise. Let's see who claims the title. <laughs> A bumper grid for the final weekend of the 2015 International GT Open season. Weekend which would determine the destiny of the championship. The two title favourites, Teo Martin, Motorsport, McLaren of Alvaro Brent, and Kelly Ruggolo, who did battle through the opening turns in favour of Brent. As the car of Ezekiel Perez Compact was an early casualty, Sunny Yuluk also in trouble after a tag from Sporting New Mercedes. So many cars on track, there was plenty of dicing be found throughout the field, particularly the addition of several wildcard entries for the weekend. Krypton Porsche in particular looking particularly impressive, as was BMW. The Wilder Uncle RXC of James Abbott in the thick of the action, and he enjoyed a fantastic wheel to wheel tussle with Nicola Bonucci. The Radical really come on in pace throughout the course of the season, and Abbott had matured very nicely as a top level driver. That said, it didn't stop things getting a little bit too close for comfort. Out front, meanwhile, Ruglo and Passing the Thoras were doing all they could to take the race. However, that moment, Passing the Thoras handed the advantage back in favour of Teo Martin Motorsport to the visible frustration of Michele Ruggolo. It was a victory for the Teo Martin Motorsport McLaren of Fernando Monnier and Andrew Watson. A fine performance for them. Chasing drive late on, arguably contributing to the moment for the Thoras. The Thoras and Ruglo, meanwhile, took second place, but third on the road was enough to give the 2015 International GT Open crown to Miguel Ramos and Alvaro Prem and Fateo Martin Motorsport on their debut year in the championship. Jubilant scenes, therefore, on the Barcelona podium. Gentlemen driver honours went the way of Claudio Stavich and Ilya Melnikov. Good, but I have to give credit to Fernando. He did a good job. It's his first weekend in the car. He made a good start, got up to third, and that's you know we didn't want to get stuck behind those guys in the first stint. So when I get in, I didn't do anything heroic. I just uh, made sure it was nice and steady and uh, handed a little bit by the guys going off. But thanks to the whole McLaren GT team, uh, Donny Group, my sponsors, and just everyone involved. This is my first win in a GT3 car, so it feels pretty nice. First time here in the, on the car for really nice. Tried to follow the guys, but Alvaro was really fast. But then. Yeah, tried to keep the pace till the end of the stint, and then he did a great job. So yeah, really happy with this with this victory here in Barcelona. We couldn't ask for more. So very proud of the whole team, Miguel and I, and uh, it was our target since the beginning. Miguel uh, finally got the the championship. He he, he came second twice, uh, and now uh, now we won. So so it's great, you know. Uh, very happy and uh, and proud of uh, of everyone. The car I'm driving, uh, my teammates and the whole team. It's been uh, fantastic. I feel great. It's uh, at, at we say in Portugal at the third time is the time. So <laughs> finally, so it was great. He, he made a good stint, and I had just to go through it because we need only a fourth place so it was no risk no pushing so and we finished third so it's even greater the championship decided it was all about the challenge for victory in the final race of the season we'll go a little bit too close for comfort into the first turn front Pereira as it Perez I car fellow Gia Maria the casualty somehow however Gia Maria was able to continue Pereira Perez I car Less fortunate, the same also went for you and Hanky. Tapped into a spin by Andrew Watson early on. Frenetic opening lap. Also in the wars, in the opening exchanges were Peter Cox and Matt Griffin. Cox only a drive through penalty for his part in the instant. Meanwhile, for Miguel Ramos, this was the opportunity to enjoy himself. After so many years of challenging, he'd finally claimed the International GT Open Championship. And now he could enjoy the push for the podium in the final race of the year. Late on, there were anxious times for Alessandro Balzan because he passed over the Vlog Course Ferrari. As Nicola Bonucci at the front of the field, her Bonucci was being rapidly reeled in by Ezekiel Perez Kompanak and Sean Balf. 
Chris Kompanak was able to slip past the Lord of Cause car. And moments later, so did Bow. To the light of Raffaele Gia Maria, he and Ezekiel Perez Kompanak took the chequered flag and their fifth victory of the season. There's more wins than any other driver combination in the championship. Second place, Sean Bow and Phil Key. And completing the podium to crown a magnificent season for Teo Martin, Motorsport McLaren, Alvaro Print and Miguel Ramos. All smiles on the podium in Barcelona. For us, uh, it's a very, very good result. We finished the championship with the uh, most victory than the others who won the, the championship. Congratulations to the McLaren, Ramos e Parente, but they won three races. Unfortunately, we had uh, any pro some problems during the season. Uh, the collision in Spa uh, yesterday in the first corner. So uh, that uh, uh, things add with other things uh, avoid to uh, for us it was a problem to, to reach uh, an eager position in the final classification. But congratulations to F. Corse, to Ezekiel because he's a real first year in uh, GT. It's the first year. So fantastic job for him, for the team, and I'm very, very happy. Congratulations to the McLaren for the championship. And uh, I'm really happy as for Rafa also because uh, we did an amazing job with all the progress and everything. I think we did uh, a fantastic, fantastic season. So next year for the top, we go for the top. <laughs>